I want to go here, but I'm going here. Oh, Joel is leaving me. Man, I'm so oh, it's about time too. <laughs> Joel has officially left me. I am solo traveling once again. So it's a five and a half hour flight from Bali to Sydney, where we both have to go. But Joel's going on the direct flight, but I am going the cheapest option, which is ridiculously long. And I'm dreading every second of it. This, I'm going Bali, Singapore. 24 hour layover in Singapore. Singapore, Manila. 14 hour layover in Manila. Manila, Sydney, nine hour flight. Oh. Take six hours to get home. I'm clocking up 54 just to get home because it's the cheaper option. <laughs> Why? Leaving Asia tomorrow. The one thing I'm gonna miss about Asia, the best thing about Asia is the bum gun. This thing cleans your bum up. Boom, boom. My flight leaves at 7 a.m. It is 10 p.m. Time for some sleep and then long days ahead. Six hours later. My long two and a half day transit back to Sydney begins now. My first leg is from Bali to Singapore. It's only a three hour flight and I love Singapore so it's not going to be an issue. The question is, do I leave Singapore airport? Because I personally love that airport so much. I guess we'll see. I actually get so excited when I go to this airport. This airport is actually the best thing. Like, you just gotta come here, guys. Don't even go to Singapore, just go to the airport. Pokemon themed bus, train. What the flip? Doesn't get much cooler than that. Come on. I'm vlogging me live right now. This is like Inception sort of stuff. Check it out. So I just did an Instagram live to see what I should do in Singapore. You guys suggested a whole bunch of things and now I've got too many things to do, which isn't a bad issue. All right, so let's go check it out. I'm gonna go into the city for a few hours before coming back to the airport to explore the airport because I love the airport, but I should go into the city. So let's do it. Walking to the streets of Singapore with my huge backpack because I'm too stingy to pay $5 to put in a locker. Something you guys don't know about me, I actually really love art and design, so I'm gonna go check out a few galleries, see how they are. So another tip is go to the museum, tell them that you need to just put your bag somewhere, they'll store it for you, you can take the whole day to explore the city. Singapore is just, Singapore is just like a Disneyland, but in a city. And I'm walking down Haji Lane, apparently it's like the hipster section of Singapore. And from what I can see, it looks pretty hipster and pretty cool. This is the artsiest freaking place in Singapore, look at this. came to Singapore, I just did the touristy things, Marina Bay Sands, down by the river, lake, whatever. This time I got into the art scene and I actually love, I just, I just flipped completely. Since I have so much time to kill in Singapore airport, I'm going to show you why Singapore airport is the best airport in the world. Foliage, random game, <laughs> places to relax, shops, TV, more places to relax, a cactus garden, a cactus garden, tiny elevators, free internet, recyclable stuff, more bubble off a kid, tall one, for adults, I'm an adult, more trees, free sugar, an app, butterfly garden, a waterfall, a fish pond, entertainment facilities, free foot massage places, who has free foot massage places in an airport, that's awesome. Free computers. How are these free? Free playground. Museum. How is this free? Yeah, I know. It's alright. Uh, oh, by the way. I can't believe there's a movie theater in here. Note to my future girlfriend. I love jam donuts. Fact. And they have random artsy gardens. They even got diamonds. Oh. More gardens. 
They've even got a sunflower garden. This airport has everything. <laughs> Entertainment deck. Full on gaming section where I can just play games. Like why, why is this here? And this is my bed for the night. Good night everyone. The next day. Every single Filipino radio station or playlist is just so on point. The Filipinos know music. The best reason to detour through uh, Philippines? Mango shake. All season, all year baby. Mangoes never go out of season here. I love this place. I got through border security, but the chick, she looks at my eyes and she's like, looking at my holograms on my passport and she asked me so what's wrong with your eyes thinking I'm like on drugs or something I'm like I'm just tired man my eyes are so screwed two days of transit I need a bed I can't sleep on the airport floor again <laughs> so I accidentally deleted all the footage from Manila and Sydney so it goes something like this I get to Manila airport I wait around for 14 hours. I sit in Pizza Hut editing videos for 8 hours. I get in a plane. I get a whole row to myself. I sleep. I wake up in Sydney. It's raining. The end. My eyes are really red. That's basically it. Thanks for tuning into this vlog, guys. I'm sorry I deleted the footage, but at least you guys understood the significance of Singapore Airport, which is the main reason of this vlog. Subscribe, like, whatever. I'm not traveling at the moment, but I'm going to make other videos. Let me know what other videos you guys want. And yeah, my eyes are not as red as they are three days ago.